Dunkelosteus was truly a killing machine, with jaws so powerful, nothing could withstand them. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 incredible prehistoric monsters. A sea scorpion, one of the most grotesque of predators, and look, look at that, look at the tail curling. For this list, we'll be looking at extraordinary creatures from prehistoric times that we're glad aren't roaming the earth today. What ancient animal haunts your nightmares? Be sure to share with us in the comments below. Number 10. Megalodon Eat your heart out, Jaws. The Megalodon's true size is a subject of debate, with estimates ranging up to 67 feet. But no matter the details, this predator was huge. Megalodon was probably the apex predator of all time. People think T-Rex or something like that. It's dwarfed by Megalodon. Megalodon is huge, maybe even 70 feet long. The massive shark's name means big tooth, and it comes by that title honestly. The Megalodon had five rows of teeth and roughly seven foot wide jaws. Why did it need a mouth big enough to swallow an NBA player whole? Well, its prey included large species such as dolphins and whales. Although the Megalodon went extinct millions of years ago, it still captures people's imaginations to this day, and even stars in books and films. <laughs> Shine bright, you terrifying shark! Number 9. Smilodon Colloquially called saber-toothed tigers, these extraordinary animals were actually not closely related to any modern cats. Smilodon encompassed several species, ranging from 120 to 1,040 pounds in weight. Although they were different sizes, all Smilodon species shared muscular bodies and, of course, very long canine teeth. So there's lots of advantages of having these elongated sabers, one of which is the ability to have your prey bleed out very quickly. Their signature dental features measured 11 inches long and were used to take down prey such as bison and camels. While Smilodon teeth likely couldn't pierce bone, they were definitely handy when fighting other predators such as dire wolves. They went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago, but their legacy lives on in the City of Angels, where the La Brea Tar Pits and Museum has dug up more than 166,000 Smilodon specimens. And some scientists believe that we're just in a lull between Smilodon and the emergence of a new species. Number 8. Arctotus simus Modern bears are intimidating enough, but prehistoric bears were downright terrifying. In terms of weaponry, this bear had a pretty amazing arsenal. Imagine the reach of these long legs and sharp claws. It would be like a boxer standing up with a super long reef. The Arctotus simus, or giant short-faced bear, was believed to be between 8 and 12 feet tall while standing on its hind legs. A short-faced bear is quite a bit larger, two to three times the size of a grizzly bear that we'd see today. And the question always is why? Why such large size? Why did this bear evolve to be such a giant? However, it didn't let its massive size slow it down. In fact, this bear could run up to 40 miles per hour. Most scientists believe Arctotus simus was an opportunistic omnivore similar to today's brown bear. While it probably consumed vegetation most of the time, the Arctotus simus might have scavenged meat from the prey of other animals such as the aforementioned Smilodon. Although Arctotus simus went extinct about 10,000 years ago, its surviving relative, the spectacled bear, still roams South America. Number 7. Meganeuropsis If you thought flying roaches were scary, well, you were right, but this creature was even more terrifying. It's a dragonfly. A dragonfly the size of an eagle. The Meganeuropsis's wingspan was more than two feet, making it the largest insect to ever take flight. What were once legs have evolved into wings, extending the dragonfly's hunting territory over a vast area. These enormous creatures ate other insects, but they were also known to grab small amphibians for lunch. Meganeuropsis, along with 70% of land-dwelling animals, was wiped out during the largest known mass extinction event on Earth. Its modern descendant, the Southern Hawker, is much smaller, but it's still an extraordinary creature and can reach speeds up to 30 miles an hour in the air. Number 6. Dunkleosteus Probably the biggest, baddest fish that lived at the end of the Devonian era. It's one of the top predators that's ever swum in the oceans of the Earth since life evolved several billion years ago. The Dunkleosteus genus encompassed at least 10 species. 
the largest of which measured up to 29 feet and weighed up to 8,000 pounds. As if these enormous fish's huge jaws and weapon-like beak weren't intimidating enough, their bodies were covered in armor. Scientists believe Dunkleosteus were powerful swimmers even though their armor slowed them down. Despite their lack of speed, Dunkleosteus species were formidable hunters. And as soon as these shearing jaws come together, you've got that animal cut in half. They primarily fed on other armored creatures and could open their jaws in 20 milliseconds to capture their prey. Those massive jaws opened and shut in less than half the time it takes to blink your eye. Many Dunkleosteus specimens have been found with partially digested prey remains, and researchers believe they might have regurgitated bones as opposed to digesting them. Charming. Number 5. Opabinia the Cambrian Explosion, which occurred 541 million years ago, brought about several bizarre species, including Opabinia. This burst of evolutionary innovation, which you know as the Cambrian Explosion, was likely the result of a whole bunch of environmental triggers. At only seven or so centimeters in length, this soft-bodied arthropod is by far the smallest creature on this list. But its tiny size packs quite a bit of strangeness. Changes in the chemistry of the oceans brought on by erosion allowed animals to develop things like shells and exoskeletons, and this led to the formation of new body plans that the world had never seen before. The minuscule Opabinia had five eyes, which took up a large portion of its head. Although size-wise it was about as different as possible from an elephant, the two share similar body parts. Opabinia had a long proboscis that was possibly used to pass food into the mouth under its head. Almost every major group of animals that exists today developed within the first 40 million years of the Cambrian, along with many game-changing adaptations like calcified hard parts, flexible limbs, and the very first eyes. While this creature was undoubtedly strange, we also think it's kind of cute. Number 4. Eucalopterus Often referred to as sea scorpions, these ancient arthropod species were actually believed to have lived in freshwater environments. Sea scorpions thrive for 200 million years, and they came in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, from Alcanopterus, which was about the size of a paperclip, to the terrifying Yecalopterus, which was two and a half meters long. Like scorpions, Yecalopterus had large, toothy pincers that they used to capture prey, such as other arthropods. They were, however, much larger than their modern cousins. They still hold the record for the largest arthropods of all time. Researchers believe the largest species of Yecalopterus measured more than eight feet long, and that's before you count their massive claws. Despite their incredible size, they were believed to be relatively lightweight and agile, allowing them to chase prey in the water. Additionally, Yecalopterus had specialized eyes that helped them see well in low-light conditions so they could easily find and catch their next meal. We're just glad we're not on the menu. Number 3. Quetzalcoatlus Named after the serpent god of the Aztecs. These creatures were the royalty of the sky and are believed to have been some of the largest flying animals of all time. Researchers have found that the largest Quetzalcoatlus species could reach wingspans of up to 36 feet, and they stood nearly 10 feet tall at the shoulder. Like today's storks, Quetzalcoatlus had large, sharp beaks which they likely used to hunt small animals. Modern research suggests that, despite their size, Quetzalcoatlus were powerful flyers and used their legs to help them jump and take to the skies. There are two things you have to get right if an animal the size of a giraffe, like Quetzalcoatlus, is to get into the air. Weight and power. These incredible creatures went extinct 66 million years ago, but scientists continue to study them and make new discoveries. 150 million years after they had first appeared, the pterosaurs were at their most spectacular. Number 2. Arthroplora The Carboniferous was the golden age for the arthropods, for the air was now particularly rich in oxygen. These animals were basically millipedes in mega nightmare mode. The good news is this creature hasn't been around for about 326 million years. Arthroplora species could reach lengths up to more than 8 feet long, making them the largest land invertebrates that we know of. Because of their extraordinary size, these absolute units probably didn't have any predators. Even if anything did try to eat them, their exoskeletons were pretty sturdy. In fact, molted exoskeletons likely make up all of the existing Arthroplora fossils. 
They went extinct 290 million years ago, but even if humans and arthropora coexisted, they wouldn't pose much of a danger to us. Scientists believe these arthropods were herbivores, and mostly snacked on fruits, seeds, and spores. Tasty. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Titanoboa Sure, some of today's snakes, such as the reticulated python, can reach lengths of 20 feet, but these massive ancient creatures dwarf them in comparison. This giant snake was five times bigger than the largest alive today. Titanoboa could grow up to 42 feet long and weigh 2,500 pounds. I've seen snakes that are supposed to be giant snakes, and they never turn out to be as big as you say they're going to be. So sure, you know, show me the snake. And then he came back holding a giant vertebra and he put it right up on the camera. And at that point, I got very excited. Like many of today's large snakes, the Titanoboa lived in tropical rainforests, and the warmth of their climate might have contributed to their gigantic size. Scientists initially believed that Titanoboa might have fed on crocodilians and similar species. But more recent research suggests that they primarily ate fish. No matter their diet, we're just glad they went extinct 58 million years ago so we don't have to worry about running into them in the wild. Uh, an animal that can grow 40 to 50 feet long, you can just imagine what would be on the menu then. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.